Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a room transformation, our bedroom makeover and I'm so excited. It's been a long time coming. I feel like it's the room that we haven't focused on at all um, until this point. You can see in the background some of the things that we've put into place. Obviously I'll show you a before and after of the whole entire room. It's your standard MOD room. The curtains were standard army issue curtains. Horrendous. Um, so we really I feel like we've made an effort here. We are limited to what we can do in this room because it's obviously an army property. We aren't technically allowed to paint unless we paint it back when we leave, which we don't really want to have to do before we move house. It's going to be a stressful time anyway, so we've decided we're not going to paint. We were then thinking, well, we could put some like sticky wallpaper that you can peel off um, for when we move, but it already has a wood chip on the walls, which I also hate, so we are not able to do that because if it comes off, we are billed and we build significantly. They charge you a lot of money if you mess something up in this house so with all of that in mind we decided not to touch the walls but we have decided to obviously build you can see in the background we've built like a little storage system and it's a lot more functional than it used to be so i'm really really happy with it i'm gonna stop rambling now and jump straight into the video i really hope you enjoy it don't forget to give this video a like if you like room transformation videos because then i'll know to do more because we have a lot planned for this house but for now let's jump straight into the bedroom makeover Okay, this is what the space looks like at the moment. I know I've shown you this a few times in other vlogs, but yeah, I'm so excited for this to be turned into some sort of functional space. I've been sitting on the floor for far too long, guys, and finally, we're actually gonna be able to have a desk, mirrors actually on the wall, little shelving space there. I'm really, really excited. So basically I think I'm gonna go and look after George, start some dinner and feed the animals and stuff and Ash is gonna crack on and actually start building the desk and the shelves and hopefully have some sort of space finished by this evening. I'm really, really excited. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it Somehow we can't miss out Hey guys, so it is the next day and Ash has finished um, doing the desk that he, you saw him putting up yesterday. It looks so good. Um, I've popped everything on the desk, so all of our like office -y bits for working from home and like the stationery and that kind of stuff. And now I just have to put my like beauty stuff in. So I've got some of the wicker baskets from Ikea, the ones that fit into the Calax unit, which is the square unit that we've got. So I'm gonna show you them and then I'm just gonna organize all of my beauty bits, like my hair dryer and my straighteners and makeup and all that kind of stuff into those baskets so it's all hidden away. And I've put my mirror, so you know the, so my, if you saw the last bedroom makeover I did on my channel, I'll link it here if you haven't seen it. It's actually a really good video it's obviously from the last house so much nicer than this house but let's not dwell on it yeah so it's the same mirror that i have in that so it's like my hollywood mirror that i made it's literally just a plain mirror with like the hollywood things stuck on they're literally so cheap from amazon i definitely recommend getting that if you want a hollywood mirror guys because it's so cheap to do um so yeah pop that on there as well i feel like it's looking good it is going to be like a dual purpose area so we're going to have to have it like as an office but also as uh getting ready area, like a dressing table. So yeah, it does have to work for both of those purposes. I'll show you the Calax boxes and me organizing all of my bits into there. I feel like I've got really good dividers for the Calax unit because I didn't want everything just chucked into a box. So I feel like the organization will be quite good, which is obviously what I need in my life. So it's all good. Also our curtains came and I'm so excited for these because they are very different to anything I've ever bought for. If you saw my shopping on Black Friday, I actually got these from eBay and the Curtains were £32, so I was really sceptical that they were going to turn out nice. They look really good so far, so fingers crossed. 
Okay, so these are the Kallax boxes. You've probably seen these before, but they fit perfectly within the IKEA Kallax unit. And I can't remember what these are called, but they're the Rattan boxes. They are so, so easy, and this is how I've got them in here. I've got three of these boxes. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put them within the unit itself, but at the moment I've just got three of them down here. I've got like all of my fake tanny bits. I've got like all of my moisturizers and deodorant and stuff, like the daily things that I use, and then my really dirty um, but essential makeup stuff there. And then I've got all of my hair stuff. So this is like all of my hair bands, all of my like brushes, hairspray and like dry shampoo and stuff. And then all of my like hair utensils in there. And then this one's actually empty. Um, in here, I've got another little sort of wicker basket type thing, but it's a little bit hidden underneath the desk and it's actually got the shredder in it because I thought the shredder looked really ugly. So I just thought we would cover that up. Under here is obviously a little bit hidden, but we do want to be able to style it a little bit nicer than this. Coming up, we just have a few bits like dripped and drabbed everywhere. I haven't styled this properly yet, but it's definitely getting there. This is a little sneak peek of the curtains, guys. I'm actually so excited to see how these are gonna turn out. The curtains are honestly so, so different to anything that I've ever had before. It's definitely not my usual style, but we've got to work with the magnolia walls, guys. As I keep saying, we don't love magnolia in this house, but we are keeping it because we have to have it back this color when we move. So it's just gonna be a massive faff to paint every single room. We have painted one wall in George's room and we've painted the living room. And I feel like that's probably all we're ever gonna do in this house. I don't love it, but I've got to work with it. So. We've chosen these curtains and I just wanna see how they turn out. So as well as new curtains in the Black Friday sales, I actually also picked up a new mattress, which I'm so excited about. It is the most comfortable thing I've ever sat on. It's the Simba mattress. I got it on Amazon for 180 pounds for a double, which is insane. Um, I'll link it down below, but I doubt that they've still got that deal on. I think they retail at like 700 pounds and sometimes it's discounted to like 500. But I got it for 280 pounds and I'm so happy with that. As well as the mattress, I actually decided to grab a new duvet and some new pillows and stuff as well so I'm really excited I'm just gonna make the bed now and make it look nice and obviously I'll show you the curtains as well properly with the bed and everything I feel like it's gonna look so nice so let me just make the bed now and then I will catch up with you later I know you guys can see in the background a bit of the desk area but I will show you everything completely at the end I feel like it's gonna be a really nice little change it feels like a proper room already I feel like the curtains are gonna make a massive difference and everything the bed's just gonna look like a proper bed again also guys don't forget that I actually have a discount code for this bed it's 50% off 50% like it's insane 50% off all Arista living beds I absolutely love them this is an ottoman bed so that basically means it's got loads of storage underneath the bed let me just show you quickly so yeah basically I just lift up my bed like this it's got loads of storage underneath and I've just shoved all of my rubbish under there and it's amazing. And then I just sit back down and act like nothing's there. It's just fantastic. I love this bed. This exact bed was under £250, which is amazing, especially for an ottoman bed with such a beautiful headboard like this. You're not going to find one cheaper than that. I'll have the discount code on screen here, but I'll have everything in the description box as well. I've got a link down there if you want to click it. No pressure though. There are loads of other influencers and stuff that have um, Arista Living discounts and stuff. But basically, if you use my code, then I get a small commission from your purchase. Or if you use someone else's code, they get a small commission. But no pressure whatsoever. I just genuinely love these beds and for the price I just feel like everyone needs one <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna make the bed now and then I'm gonna show you the curtains and the bed all together and then we're gonna move over to the desk area I'm really really excited to show you guys I feel like the space has transformed since you last saw it <laughs> exactly what these curtains look like before now they look so much better they're very different to what I would have chosen before but I feel like they work with the magnolia and I definitely love the boho vibe okay so this space is probably my favorite transformation of this room just because before it was not a functional space at all if you remember what it looked like it was literally a mirror stuck on the wall and then everything else was just on the floor and I had like my little chair that inside has got all what well, I had all of my like makeup and stuff so I have to go in there every day to find like what I wanted and then like use it in the mirror it was just and I was sitting on the floor the entire time it was just not a very functional space and now thanks to the bedroom makeover I've actually been able to 
have a functional space but not only that I can actually work at this desk when I work from home I will actually be using this as a home office so not only is it a space where I can get ready in the mornings but it's also a space that I can work from and have a good home office in the house which is so so essential for us so I'm really really happy with this I love the quality of this desk if you guys are thinking about making your own IKEA desk I would definitely recommend sort of looking at this kind of system so it's actually just a worktop this one's the Hilva worktop I believe it's called I'll link everything down below just in case you guys want to check it out we've got the Kallax unit behind us then we've got the Hilva work desk and then we've got the Alex drawers I love this desk I think it's really really functional we've got loads of storage which is essential for us because we don't have a lot of storage in the house so storage in our furniture that also looks nice is a massive massive bonus I love IKEA for their home office inspiration honestly it is a lifesaver. It's been a lifesaver for us because we haven't got a huge budget. This entire thing did not cost a lot. I feel like the curtains have made a big difference. So let me show you properly the curtains. Because I showed you the before and after of the curtains, but I haven't really shown you what it looks like in total. The lighting's never great when you're putting the camera towards the window. So that's why it's hard to show you the curtains. But I'm going to try my best now and I'll show you a full room transformation from exactly what it looked like before. And then I'll show you exactly what it looks like now. So just for a little recap, let's remind ourselves what the room looked like before. It was very dated and we kind of just chucked everything in there was no functional space whatsoever the curtains were horrific um absolutely horrendous standard army issue curtains but with a small amount of effort and a little bit of time we've actually been able to turn it into this and i'm so happy with it how much of a difference have these curtains made? I feel like it ties the magnolia and the black and the grey in really, really nicely together. And by far, this area is absolutely my favourite of the entire bedroom makeover. I love this area so, so much. I love the IKEA furniture. I feel like it works really well together. All I need now is an office chair and it will be complete. Obviously our son George actually sleeps in this room at the moment because he's too young to go in his own room so this is his little crib. I forgot to pop this back before but this is where he goes. Obviously his crib is not going to be there for too long but for now it is actually there next to my side of the bed in front of the desk but actually it kind of can come a lot closer to the bed when he's actually asleep so it's not too bad at all and I feel like it actually incorporates into the room quite nicely um, all the colors sort of work together the natural woods the dark charcoal looks quite nice I really hope you enjoyed that video guys I've absolutely loved doing this room there is definitely a lot more that I can do in this space and I know that but I would absolutely love to hear from you guys see what you guys think and what you guys think I should do in this room I feel like I can style this um, little Kallax unit a lot better um, but it's just going out to the shops and stuff and finding those little bits that will look really lovely there so if you guys have any suggestions let me know also I would love to have something above the bed potentially maybe some prints maybe a shelf I'm not really sure but I have this weird thing about having stuff above my head when I'm sleeping I just get so nervous that something's gonna fall on me I don't know maybe something soft like a wall hanging is not gonna like kill me in my sleep I don't know but now I hope you've enjoyed this little bedroom makeover as I always say in my videos we've got a lot of limitations in this house as to what we can and can't do yeah it, we, we are limited but I definitely feel like for what we have been able to do and fairly easily I feel like we've achieved something quite significant here so i'm really really happy thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to give it a like if you like these kind of room transformations i have a lot more coming i've got the living room this year but then next year i am looking to do the kitchen as well which is going to be amazing like i am really excited for that one really excited it's all going to be on a budget and i'm thinking maybe even the bathroom as well so yeah lots of exciting things to come guys but for now i'll love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next video bye